Singer and songwriter Jay Brown has new music. Now he performed live for the very first time right here on Great Day Washington. And now his new single, Vibe, was the fourth one on the top 10 R top 10 on the R&B Billboard charts. He tells Kristen about a new single called Simpson and an album that's coming out soon. Jay Brown, it is so good to see you again. How are you? Thank you for having me. How are you today? Good, good. We love when you're here, good. especially because it means new music is coming out for you. Absolutely, yes. First off, congratulations on Vibe. Top 10 R&B Billboard, your fourth one. I mean, how incredible just to get that recognition and, and the response to your music. Oh, it's phenomenal. You know, for me to do that as an independent artist, it's a rarity. So uh, I'm definitely thankful to um, not only myself, but my team. So to have my fourth Billboard charting hit, it's just uh, it's just amazing. So I'm thankful. You're out on tour now. Yes, the Loving You Forever tour with myself, Kenny Lattimore, and uh, a duo by the name of Rough Ants, all R&B. Okay. Oh, we had Kenny on recently. We love him, too. I mean, that's a good group of musicians oh, yeah. right yeah, there. Yeah. Um, okay, and then now you've got a new single out, Simpin. Did I say that right? Simpin, you said it right. Okay. <laughs> it is a term that is commonly used on TikTok, and it's basically, just to give you guys a, just the definition behind it, it's basically a guy who does a lot for a woman because he, he just wants to prove to her that he likes her. So mm. some people refer to that as simping. So uh, it's yeah. a good thing and a bad thing, but <laughs> that, that's, you know... <laughs> And That's basically the, the definition. With this new music and your album coming out, are you still staying more in the R&B genre? I am, but okay. now I'm adding a little more like of a modern feel. Okay. Because uh, prior to this song, everything was more so like old school R&B. Mm. Um, but now I'm doing like, you know, R&B that not only 40 or 50 year olds can relate to, uh, now the high schoolers can relate to my my style of music. This right. is something that's 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 been going on for years. I just kind of stepped away from it for a while, but now I'm back doing it. So you um, you're from Detroit. You're the youngest of five kids, musically inclined household. But when did you know that music was your career? That this was what was that turning point for you? So that was an undergrad. Thanks for asking that question. That was an undergrad, and a friend of mine signed me up for a talent show, uh, and I was oh. I was so nervous because my school, they're known for <laughs> booing people. I don't know why they do it, they just do it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I managed to just pull it through and the entire auditorium, they were like on their feet. Some women were crying or girls, they were crying in the audience. So I oh. knew that was that defining moment. I said, I can do the solo. And yeah, I've been doing it ever since. Well, and it's amazing because it, it, that first step is the scariest step, right? That first yeah, moment, absolutely. that first performance, whatever, and you got through it. And then it, once you I feel like get that, then the confidence starts to build even more quickly. That's true. Absolutely. I agree with you. So that was, that was the point. That was that point where I told myself, yeah. you know what? Just go after it, pursue your dreams. After I finished college, I said, you know, I have no choice but to pursue it. So. Uh, I love that. And we love that you are still making new music. What was like, what has this time been like for you? Have, have you been able to write? What is the pandemic? Like, has it kind of helped you evolve? How has it been for you? Honestly, it's been a challenge. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure other artists can relate. Yeah. You know, considering the pandemic. But what's important is that we all stay safe, you know. So when the right time comes, which I have, I've done a lot of shows since uh, post-COVID. Right. Uh, but of, of course, it's been challenging, you know, because this is how we pay our bills. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, you know, I'm hoping that things get gets better uh, eventually and that people uh, do what they're supposed to do in terms of social distancing. Yep. <laughs> uh, so we can get back to some sense of normalcy, so to speak. Well, you're still grinding, still creating new music. Congrats grinding. on the new single. We can't wait for your debut album this summer, Jay Brown. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chapter and Verse is my new album. It drops April the 8th, SRG Records. So guys, please support me and check me out on Instagram at, at Music only. Thank you. All right, Jay Brown is also coming to the Birchmere soon to perform. And as he mentioned, his album, Chapter and Verse, will be released on April 8th.